I played for my country. It's what every young rugby league player aspires to accomplish. These players earned that opportunity to play for Australia, but unfortunately, not many fans actually remember them pulling on the green and gold jersey. For this list, the player must have played only one game for Australia in the NRL era, and we'll go into detail about how they earned their Kangaroos jersey and how they went in their one match for Australia, as this is Greatest Game of All, and these are 10 players that you totally don't remember representing Australia. Number 10, Eric Groth. After scoring 15 tries in his club's minor premiership season in 2005, Eels winger Eric Groth earned a call-up for the Kangaroos for their Tri-Nations tour of England. Although he didn't play in the Tri-Nations itself, he made his debut in a pre-series test match between France, where he played on the wing. He would then go on to play all three Origin matches in the 2006 series for the Blues, which included a brilliant intercept try in the deciding Game 3. The blind side, Thurston intercepted by Eric Groth Jr. Down the right side, they chase in vain. Number 9, Carl Webb. You look after your mate in this game, but he wasn't in any trouble, Chris Flannery. That's the way to do it, Carl. Get that India. Great state of origin tackle. The hard-hitting, no-nonsense Queensland forward Carl Webb got the call-up to represent his country in the centenary test match against New Zealand in 2008 on the back of his form shown early in the 2008 season with the Cowboys. He came off the bench in his team's 28-12 victory over the Kiwis and held his own in the middle. He definitely earned this after his brilliant 12-game service for the Maroons since his debut in 2001. And Webb shrugs off a tackle. That a broke up. Webb goes forward. Number 8. Cade Snowden. Newcastle and Cronulla forward Cade Snowden played 174 games and represented New South Wales in 2010 and 2011, playing one game in each series at the starting proposition. He would play his one and only game for Australia in the 2011 Anzac Test match as a late call-up due to the originally selected David Shillington tearing his pectoral muscle in his Raiders Round 8 loss to the Tigers. Snowden also played two matches for Italy in the 2013 World Cup, but wouldn't represent Australia after this one appearance in 2011. Number 7. Michael Wayman. A move from Canberra to Wollongong certainly was a blessing in disguise for Michael Wayman as the hard-hitting forward made his debut with New South Wales in his first year at the Dragons in 2009. The following year, he got a call-up to play in the Anzac Test match in 2010, starting from the bench in what was the first sporting event to be played at the newly formed Amy Park in Melbourne. Him and his Aussies would hold off a late New Zealand fight back to win 12 points to 8. Number 6, Dean Young. After scoring a try in his Dragons 2010 grand final win, Dean Young joined the Kangaroos for the Four Nations competition in 2010. He was yet to represent New South Wales before the call-up as he would pull on the blue jersey for the first and only time the following year. His Kangaroos would win the match against New Zealand 34-20, but they would lose the Four Nations thanks to a Nathan Fiend game-winning try in the grand final. The ball was tucked by Australia. He's headed for the post. Marshall throws the ball. It's a speculator, but it's a try. Number 5. Matt Moylan. Currently playing for the Sharks, Matt Moylan earned his opportunity to represent his country in his breakout 2016 season where he earned the club captaincy leading the Panthers to a 6th place finish and semi-final exit and debuted for the Blues at the starting fullback position and played all three games in the series. He played against Scotland in the Four Nations competition at the end of the season, having a huge impact at the starting fullback position, ranking up 4 try assists. The first being to Blake Ferguson on the left edge, the next was James Maloney after a break and the other two were to his Panthers teammate Josh Mansour. Lovely catch and pass in the Penrith combination. Gives it away to Moylan backing up, Tierney comes at him from behind, he sends the pass to Mansour again. Darius Boyd would play the remainder of the competition at fullback, meaning Moylan played just the one game. Number 4. Jamal Idris. The 6 foot 5 giant center Jamal Idris played 136 games across four different clubs being the Bulldogs, the Titans, the Panthers and the Tigers. He won the Rookie of the Year award in 2009 and represented New South Wales for the first and only time in game one of the 2010 Origin Series scoring a try. He put on the green and gold jersey in the 2011 Anzac Test match coming off the bench where he also scored a try. Number three, Ben Hornby. And here is Long. Oh, interception! Hornby! Hornby has got English with him! And Greg English! Playing a whopping 273 games for his one and only club, the Dragons, Ben Hornby played three games for New South Wales and played for Australia once in the 2006 Tri Nation series against Great Britain, where he actually started at halfback because Jonathan Thurston was dropped by coach Ricky Stewart. Hornby unfortunately couldn't retain his spot as the Kangaroos would lose their only match in the series 23-12 
and Thurston would return in the final two games, setting up the tournament winning try in Golden Point for his skipper Darren Lockyer. Number 2. Todd Carney. After his incredible 2010 season, which saw him win the Dahlia Medal Award and lead his Roosters to a grand final appearance, Todd Carney got the call up to play in the 2010 Four Nations competition. Having no previous representative experience as he played for the Blues two years later in the 2012 Origin Series, Carney played quite well in the green and gold jersey and even kicked two out of two goals in the process. And number one, Hazamel Masri. Hazamel Masri played a staggering 317 games for his beloved Canterbury Bulldogs and is known as one of the best goal kickers of all time. By one to win it. He's got it away. It has got there. Although goal kicking was his superior skill, his game wasn't overlooked as he played one game for New South Wales in 2007, which saw him score a try and kick three out of three goals. Are you brave enough to back him out? It's on its way, he's got it again! Although he represented Lebanon nine times in his career, he also represented Australia as he took on New Zealand at the end of the season before New Zealand's tour of Great Britain. He started on the wing and kicked four out of seven goals in his team's 32-24 win over New Zealand. So, what did you think of our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, chuck us a like on Facebook and this video, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our channel for more Rugby League Countdowns.